Alright, hello everybody, my name is Joy and welcome to Would You Rather. Now I figured I would give this game another try. I don't remember if I made a video on it, but I do remember ever playing it. And it gives some pretty interesting food for thought, so why not? Um, so that brings us to our first dilemma. 22% elected, lead a boring life from here forward or... Be reborn with all your memories into the baby of the opposite sex. Now, honestly, I got a little bit stuck on this one because I saw it before I started recording and I got a little bit stuck. You know, I wouldn't mind at all being reborn as the opposite sex, I guess. But here's the thing, here's the catch. You do have all of your memories and I assume the knowledge of an adult person. That would make stuff like breastfeeding very, very awkward. Besides that, you might be born into a country or into a place of extreme poverty or otherwise some sort of horrible state. It doesn't guarantee you that you will have the same quality of life here. So that's that's kind of what makes this, you know, I don't mind boring, honestly. I'm, I'm kind of a boring person myself, so this seems kind of attractive. But on the other hand, you would have so many opportunities if you were born into, you know, if you were a baby, but you still had your same memories, you'd be a super intelligent child and you would be able to do so much. Man, is this, this, this is really a difficult one. I honestly don't know. I think I would still choose to be reborn because of the possible opportunities, but on the condition that I am born into the same family, I guess. Would that also mean I would travel back in time? What does this mean? There are so many ends and buts. There are no condition whatsoever. Ah, uh, well, you know what? I, I guess I will go with the masses and go with the assumption that I will be fine. That I will be born into the same family. I'm clicking. Wait, did I already click? Ah, okay. Apparently I was too stupid to understand the website. But now it should be all okay. Okay, now for real seas, because apparently I, I don't know what the previous thing was, but they already made a selection or something like that. Whatever, doesn't matter. Now we're gonna go do it for realsies. Whoopee cushion or snap bracelets? I'm gonna go with whoopee cushion. Just because. Just because. Okay. Now, click further. Go on. Move on with your life. Thank you. Would you rather always wear a top hat or always wear a giant clock necklace? Huh. Do I want to look like a fancy gentleman, but I don't exactly have functional hair for a top hat? Or do I want to look like a 90s rapper? Or the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with a clock necklace. Despite possible neck problems, I could, you know... I would still always be on time for my uh, chiropractor appointment. So that's good. That would be okay. Really? The majority would prefer a top hat. Well, I suppose... Eh, I can see the advantage of that over a giant clock necklace. Then again, I guess the cl giant clock necklace is more my style. Race a family with Samuel L. Jackson or race a family with Van Vin Diesel? Huh. Raise a family. Oh my god, I don't want to raise a family at all, man. Do I have to? Let's see, Samuel L. Jackson. Um, would I be okay? This lot, okay, the, the outcome of this question largely depends on whether or not I ma mind if my children's first words are going to be motherfucker. I don't. I don't. Samuel L. Jackson it is. Give a speech to the whole nation or have to sleep with tarantulas on your bed. With the whole nation, I mean, I live in the Netherlands, so I guess that's overseeable. You know, I could give like a nice speech on Queen's Day, read a poem or something like that. Sleeping with tarantulas on your bed. You know, I'm not specifically afraid of spiders, but I guess it's just kind of common sense to be afraid of tarantulas. So I'll just, I'll go ahead with the speech. I don't mind that. I'll hire someone to write it for me. Oh, see? I'm right. Like, 91% agrees with me. Yeah, why, why would you want to sleep with tarantulas on your bed? I mean, I mean, it's basically give a speech to the whole nation or die. Yeah, nope. Be a genius in the world of unintelligent people. Or be unintelligent in the world of geniuses. Huh, that's... Oh, man. Um, I guess if you were a genius in a world of unintelligent people, you could do a lot of good. However, I think that lot of good would be stunted by a society that doesn't care for intelligence. Because I would imagine that that's the case. But if you're unintelligent in a world of geniuses, you... 
I suppose you would get to enjoy a lot of the advantages of being in a world of geniuses. But at the same time, you would be extremely looked down upon. I mean, you might even get castrated and stuff like that, depending on the type of society they live in. Because, you know, just because people are geniuses doesn't mean they're more empathetic, necessarily. But I suppose, I don't know, I, I think I'd rather be unintelligent in a world of geniuses. Because I think you would be less lonely. Huh, people would rather be the genius. I'm really wondering why. Hold on, let me look at the comments here. Oh, right, that's, that's a pretty good point, actually. Um, being unintelligent, you probably wouldn't even realize you are the dumbest person on the planet. So you just have fun and not think about it. Being the only intelligent person would piss you the hell off every single day. Huh. Probably. Probably, likely. Well, I think if you'd be aware of your stupidity because everyone would point it out every day. Well, you know, th that doesn't necessarily happen. I mean, you would probably be aware of it, I think. I mean, if the whole world is intelligent and you're not, you would know. But again, intelligence doesn't equal empathy and stuff. Hmm. Oh, of course. <laughs> I can tell you from first-hand experience that the blue option is a curse that makes you hate and resent humanity. Therefore, I choose the red option. People who are voting for the blue option have no idea how bad it is to be a genius in a world of fools. <laughs> yeah, man, I feel your pain. Make out with Gollum or hook up with Beetlejuice from the movie. Um, let's see. I guess Beetlejuice didn't look that bad. I mean, Gollum, honestly, well, then again, it's just making out with Gollum. Let me just look at Beetlejuice, because I don't exactly remember what he looked like in that movie. Oh, that ain't so bad. That ain't so bad at all. But then again, you, when it comes to Gollum, you are just making out with them, so it wouldn't be as bad. And I've already had mono, so... Then again... I don't know, man. Isn't Beetlejuice risen from the dead? Don't you get sick from that? Wouldn't you get sick from either? I guess Gollum would make you less sick. I mean, he didn't look like he had, like, herpes or something, so... Gollum. Gollum it is, I suppose. Really? Really, the majority would hook up with Beetlejuice, huh? I bet there's a lot of teenage girls in there who have a fetish for that bad boy thing. Always disappoint people or always anger people. Oh my, okay. <laughs> so, basically just... What I do all the time. Um... But I'd only do one of them. If I would choose, I would only end up doing one of them. So I would only either disappoint or anger them. Okay, I'd rather piss people off because disappointment hurts more. Speak every language except the language of the country you're currently in. Or speak only the language of the country you're in, but know the meaning of every single word in that language. So basically you would be an expert on the language of, of the country you're currently in. Well, I'm currently in the Netherlands and honestly ne Dutch isn't that big of a deal in the world, you know? I'd imagine if you'd live in America or something like that, it would be much bigger of a deal. And, you know, my family members and stuff, they all speak English, they can all understand me, so... And if you would speak every language, like, would, th would that also mean that you would understand, you know, coding languages and stuff? Because I would love that. I would absolutely love that. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, I'll speak every language. Really? Huh. Really? Well, I suppose I would understand if you would live in a country that speaks a world language, you know, um, like Mandarin or English or something like that. String your opponent to, uh, what, bleh, wow. String your opponent along for the entire fight or crush them from the beginning. Well, I'm not one for wasting time. I mean, if I'm gonna win anyway, might as well do it right away. Be a centaur or be a mermaid slash man. Does that mean be either a man or be either a merman? Because that's quite the that's quite the difference there. Uh, I you know I've always you know when I was younger I really loved mermaids I would draw them all the time. Um, I've even considered getting a tattoo of a mermaid, but I ended up not doing that luckily. Uh, not that I think mermaid tattoos are bad, I just think a tattoo would be a very bad idea for me, considering my skin is messy as hell. Um, I think I would still rather be a centaur. But then again, you know, I, I love the ocean. I'm really fascinated by it and I would love to know more and this would be the perfect opportunity to do so. However, it would significantly make my life more difficult because I would only have the ocean. I would only have a body of water. 
You know, I suppose maybe we could work something out with uh, a portable bath and stuff, but that seems like an awful lot of work. And if you're a centaur, you could, you know, you'd have a lot of energy, I'd imagine. You'd have really strong legs and stuff. That would be cool. I, I, I think I'm gonna go with centaur in this case. I'm fascinated by, you know, being a mermaid, but being a centaur would just be more practical in the end. Oh man, that is such a sad realization about myself. Oh, hold on. They're saying here... Hold on, let me scroll down a little bit so you can see too. We're not talking modern day. You wouldn't be walking around cars as a centaur. That would be more of your own kind. You wouldn't be walking around cars? And there would be more of your own kind. Oh, okay, so... I guess then the mermaid thing... If I weren't the only mermaid, that would probably mean that there'd be a whole... That'd be a whole, you know, society and stuff. Huh. Man, this is a difficult one. I didn't expect to have so much trouble with this one. I really like the mermaid thing, but... I also like the centaur thing. You know what? I I'm gonna have to go with my passion. If there's more of my kind, that probably means that my family is a mermaid too. Oh, really? Centaur, huh? Alright. Have a high salary in a job you hate, or have a low salary in a job you love. Oh, goddamn. Okay, it, it, I know that it sucks to have a low salary and to live with the absolute bare minimum. Well, that's not true. I'm not going to pretend like I'm some sort of... I know what it's like to have to watch your money carefully. Let's just keep it like that. I'm not going to pretend like I have it bad in any way. Um, but working in a job you hate, that can be soul crushing. That can be so horrible. And if you do a job that you love, you wouldn't mind working extra time. I would guess so. So even though I understand the value of money very, very well, but I still think I would prefer to do a job I would love. Huh, that's, that's kind of split even on this one. Kind of. I suppose maybe if I had like kids and a whole family and stuff like that, I might choose for a higher salary in order to give them a better life. But considering I don't, you know, why wouldn't I be doing what I love? Be a famous rapper or be a notorious mobster. What, what kind of choice is that? Why do people romanticize the mobster business? I mean, it's not exactly fun, I'd imagine, if at any point somebody could walk in with a Tommy gun and blow your family to shit. I'd rather be a famous rapper. I mean, not all famous rappers have, you know, conflicts and stuff like that. I'd be the nice kind of rapper. I'd be the Will Smith kind of rapper, probably. You know, talking about, you know, respecting each other and shit. See? Yeah, there you go. Obvious one. Ooh, this is a nice one. Live in a treehouse or live in a floating boathouse? Boathouses are actually quite a popular thing here in the Netherlands. And I love that. You know, I love being on the water. We even have a small little tiny sailor boat. And, you know, even though it's a bit rickety, we love being on there. We love sleeping there. Because you're in the middle of nature, on a beautiful lake. But, you know, I guess you would have the same in a treehouse, but a bit more... You know, you wouldn't have to worry about seasickness, which I don't have anyway, so... I don't know, I, I guess I'd be more attracted to the water. Because you're more, you know, isolated. I guess. I don't know, I, I really I, I really sleep well on the water, so I think a floating treehouse would be practical as well. A floating boathouse, not a floating treehouse. Hey, that'd be a perfect, you know, match. Would you rather have a lightsaber or have a helper monkey? And it says here, a legit Star Wars lightsaber or a helper monkey that would do anything for you. Within reason and Peter roots. Okay, that's important to me because it's got to be a happy monkey. If I'm going to have an animal, it better be happy and, 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 and good. You know, properly taken care of. I did a whole video on the animal safety and stuff like that. So that would be kind of hypocrite. Um... You know, the thing is, a lightsaber, I don't think I would have all that many uses for it in real life. You know, it would be cool, but it would be cool for like a week. And from then on, I would probably end up tossing it somewhere because I either cut both my arms off myself or because I got bored of it. So I think a helper monkey would be so much more practical. I mean, if they would really do anything for me, that would be great. I mean, it could make him do groceries and stuff. I'd maybe get him, make him get a job and earn money for me. That'd be great. You know, as long as I take good care of him, obviously. I'm gonna go with the helper monkey. Really? 
Why would you rather have a lightsaber? Hold on, let me look at the comments. Yeah, here, you'll probably use it just to cut seasoning. It's not like it comes with force. Exactly, you don't automatically have the force and stuff. Huh. I would just accept to cut down trees and own a lumber company is more profit. Well, I suppose that would be a good one. Sell lightsaber to military. Oh my god, the world would go to shit. Honestly, don't do that. Yeah, you'd probably get arrested. And it would probably get taken away. Oh well, I chose the monkey. I'm still happy with my decision, even though the majority chose for the lightsaber. Attempt to survive a computer uprising. Uh, rise, well, attempt to survive a computer uprising a la Terminator, or attempt to survive a zombie outbreak Dawn of the Dead. Okay, I gotta admit, I'm not too familiar with Dawn of the Dead. But you know, the thing about a zombie outbreak is. I think it would be more manageable than a computer uprising. You know, because zombies are limited and they would eventually die because it would need food. If it's, if it's organic, if there's still organic matter and stuff like that, it would need food. So eventually they would all starve if I managed to get myself to safety. And then it would be over, it would be done with, hopefully. But... A computer uprising terminator i have no idea how we would eventually contain that and there would always be a risk of it returning i would guess so i, I guess i'm gonna go with the zombie outbreak both seem like absolute hell though don't get me wrong yeah see the majority chose with the zombie outbreak <laughs> oh my god eat a five course meal in front of 10 starving children steal the bucket from five salvation army santas Oh my, okay. Um, you know, if I... Okay, if I would steal the buckets, I could always br return the money later or, you know, give it to charity. You know, everybody would still hate me, but everyone would hate me in both scenarios, so that wouldn't matter. And I would probably hate myself in both scenarios, but I'm not gonna eat a five-course meal in front of ten starving children. I can't do that. You know, stealing money is another thing, especially from charity. I mean, that sucks balls. But then I at least have the opportunity to do something in return. Oh, no. Oh, it says in the conditions. No, you can't give them your leftovers and you'd have to spend the stolen money on things for yourself. Balls. Damn. Okay, so that logic uh, goes out the window that I had. Um, then it might change things because I guess stealing the bucket from five Salvation Army Santas, I don't know how much money that would be, but I'd imagine quite a lot. So I guess the money from that would benefit more people than the poor 10 kids who have to watch me eat. I would guess. Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna read some comments and see what people think. Oh, somebody, you can wear a mask and steal the buckets. You can't wear a mask and eat. Oh, that's kind of a good one. That's kind of a good one. Okay, okay. Purely looking at the number of people it would benefit. Um, I'm not going to go, like some people in the comments, I'm not going to go into the ethics of the Salvation Army. I'm just going to assume charity. Okay, it's a charity thing. So I would guess that the five buckets of money would benefit more people than it would you know, dis then it would suck for those 10 starving children for me to eat things in front of them. Oh man, this is a difficult one. This is a very good one. I like this one. But I think I'm going to go with a five-course meal. Oh man, Be much people would much rather steal the buckets. Oh man. Maybe, you know, uh, I get, nah, whatever, never mind. Stare at the sun for two minutes or drink a liter of scalding water. The water temperature would be like an extremely hot coffee. Well, it doesn't say you can't wear sunglasses. I mean, I don't want to be that person, but you could just do that. And a liter of scalding water. If it's really boiling hot, you might die from that. You could have serious internal damage from that. And staring at the sun, it would suck. It would hurt your eyes. But, you know, looking at how the sun is in the Netherlands, I suppose you would be sort of okay after a few days. So I guess I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, majority agrees. Would you rather be a rock star or be a movie star? Oh man. Oh god, I, I really, I, I like music a lot. And I also like video a lot, but I, I don't know. I guess I would like music more in that sense. Nah, I don't know. Oh man. 
you know, I don't care so much about the whole stardom thing because I'm not good with groups of people anyway, but being able to do for a living what you love is really, really cool. The thing is, would I just rather be in a movie or, you know, play music that I make myself? I guess in a movie, you would have less influence on what you're doing. So I guess, I guess rock star. No, the majority would rather be a movie star. Let me look why. <laughs> Rockstar, Cheetahs and Coke, yeah! You know, everybody has this image of Rockstar, so you have to act all tough and use drugs and stuff. I disagree with that. I do what I want, I'm a Rockstar. And it's not like movie stars are all saints. I mean, let's be honest there. Huh, the comments didn't really give me a whole lot, to be honest there. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Rockstar, absolutely. Be Wilma Flintstone, be Velma from the Scooby-Doo Mystery Gang. I'll be Velma. Yeah, I mean, Wilma Flintstone, I mean, she had fun and stuff. She had a nice life, but I'd rather be Velma. That seems like so much so much cooler of a thing. And I get to have a dog, a Great Dane. Eat a cup of baking soda and then do a shot of vinegar. Eat a pack of Mentos and then chug a Diet Coke. Okay, this is kind of... Okay, baking soda, soda and vinegar would actually make you throw up like a madman. I have seen videos where people eat a pack of Mentos and a chug Diet Coke, and they were fine. You know, maybe they had bad gas after that, but if that's the worst, then I'll do that. I mean, it tastes a whole lot better, so, you know, if this result is gonna be pretty much the same, then I'd rather, you know, eat Mentos and chug Diet Coke. Would you rather be known as a drug dealer or be known as a liar? And on the condition it says you wouldn't be the friendly neighborhood dealer either. Well, I don't know about that, I don't know what that means, but okay. I guess a drug dealer, if, I, again, I live in the Netherlands, so if I would, you know, go through the legal process of be, being able to sell weed and stuff, then sure, I'd do that. You know, people might not like me, but I would still be doing something perfectly legal. Being known as a liar just kind of sucks in general, so I think I'd rather just be a drug dealer in this condition. Have a personal chef, have a personal masseuse. Screw the masseuse. I'll have, I'll have a personal chef that cooks for me every day over the comfort of a personal masseuse, okay? Personal chef, 100%. Yeah, what? Wow. That's actually quite evenly split. I mean, the majority is obviously chef, but let me, let me see. You can cook for yourself, but not very easily give yourself a back massage. Yeah, but you can buy machines for that. You can buy stuff for that or ask people for that if you're, you know, in the mood for that. No, no, still 100%, not convinced. I want to have a personal chef over the masseuse. Oh man, this is a tough one. Always look eight months pregnant or always have a black eye. And it says in the conditions, you would not actually be pregnant or experience the side effects. Okay, that's a good one. The black eye would be constant and you would not have to be hit repeatedly. Oh, okay, good. Good, good, good. Um... Oh man, you know, when it comes to concealing things, I guess the black eye would be easier to conceal than looking eight months pregnant. So I guess I would go with that one. I mean, yeah, why, why would you want to look eight months pregnant? I mean, I guess they do say that pregnant women have like this radiant glow to them. Would I, would I have that too? Or would I just be the realistic eight months pregnant, sweaty and just in kind of a pissy mood all the time? Which one would it be? No, I don't want to look pregnant unless I'd actually be pregnant. No, I'd rather have the black eye. <laughs> and the overwhelming majority agrees. Have x-ray vision or have laser vision? I guess x-ray vision. I mean, what would I be doing with laser vision? You can heat things up with a laser and obviously see through clothes with the x-ray. I don't want to see through clothes. I want to, you know, work as a spy or something. That would be invaluable. Be deaf and have no legs, be blind and have no arms. You may not get any prosthetic limbs or corrective surgery, you're stuck with it. Ooh, oh man, that's a difficult one. Especially because a lot of things that I do depend on my ability to hear, but also my ability to see. But I guess that would count for everybody. Mmm... Okay, I, I guess I would go with be deaf and have no legs purely because I would prefer to have arms over having, you know, um, over having legs, I think. 
Yeah, I think I would go with that one. I mean, it sucks to be deaf, it sucks to be blind, it sucks to have no legs or arms. I mean, both, of course, preferably not. But if I absolutely had to choose, I think I would rather still have my arms and eyesight. Because then I'd still be able to, you know, play video games and stuff. Well, I know that there's people who... Who are blind and play video games. And there's people without arms who play video games. I've seen videos of that. Uh, I don't know. I, th I think I'd rather be deaf and have no legs. Man, this is this is seriously a difficult one. Really? Why? Why are so many people like that? Hold on. See, I'm trying to look for somebody who chose... I love music even more than I love the visual beauties of this world. Well, I can understand that. Okay, blind means my self-confidence and standard in woman are out of the window. Just saying with no standards, even a blind guy with no arms could get laid. Also with no legs, do you have reproductive organs? Well, it just says no legs. It didn't say no genitals. That's different. It, it didn't cut you in half or anything. Uh, your self-confidence and standard... Really? Would that be the case? I don't think that would be the case for me if I were blind. I can still browse the internet and have an excuse not to go out. Double success. Exactly. Exactly. I so agree with that. <laughs> be in a car accident that kills only you or be responsible for a car accident where you live but your five closest friends and family die. Of course, I'd rather die myself then. I mean, that would be horrible. I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I were responsible for that. I mean, sure, I don't want to die, but if it's under these conditions, sure. Yeah, 88% again. Like, I can get... 86% would rather die than watch five of the closest friends die. I find that hard to believe. Huh. Yeah, of course, you never know what you would do in a given situation like that. You know, that's the point that this guy is trying to make here. And I get that, I get that. Of course, I wouldn't understand. I could give a heroic answer here, but... I wouldn't know, obviously, but trying to think about it here as I am sitting in my chair, I think I would rather die than kill five of my closest friends and family. Would you rather have to sleep three hours every day or have to sleep 15 hours every day? Well, it doesn't say that you can't sleep in. It just says that you would only need three hours every day. So that would be a huge advantage, I guess. Ah, oh, so evenly split. Like, I'd be okay with sleeping 15 hours on some days, but, you know, I got shit to do. Be attractive and poor, or be ugly and rich. I'll be ugly and rich, thank you very much. Oh my god, this is a biblical one. Have holes put through both hands and both feet via nails and a hammer, or go for 40 days in the desert without food. You can have water in the desert. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that you can survive for 40 days without food, I think. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna see how long you can survive without food. Wow, some people say that you can go up to eight weeks without food. That's that's. I did not expect that. But if you have holes put through your hands and feet, you know it would suck. But you would be done with it within a day. Being forty days in the desert without food, with only water, would be absolute horrible torture as well and it would not leave you unaffected it's not like you can just go for 40 days without food and then eat like a maniac again because that would mean your death it would it would both be horribly torturous you know i guess i guess i would rather have holes you know they don't specify how big those nails are so i, I guess that's more survivable and you know, less dangerous for your health than going for 40 days without food. So I guess I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, I'm gonna go with the last one because I just noticed I've already been doing this for 40 minutes. It was just way too long for a video like this. Would you rather be a famous homosexual professional athlete or be a heterosexual average person? I'll be a professional athlete, sure. I don't care about the gay part. Now, people are saying that there's a lot of bias against homosexual people. But then again, you would be able, as a famous athlete... To help with that, to, you know, do something about that. A lot of homophobic stuff. Nope, nope, I'm not convinced. I would, I would be, I would still rather be a famous homosexual professional athlete over being a heterosexual average person. I simply don't care about it that much. You know, considering. Anyway, I'm gonna end it on this one. 
Let me know what you prefer. If there was a particular question in this video that caught your attention, what, what, what would you rather do? You know, any about the, pre about the previous one? Not necessarily just this one, but you know, the previous ones. Let me know, let me know. I'm very curious what you would think or uh, decisions that you would have made differently. So anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. It's probably gonna be a bit longer than it should be for a uh, would you rather video, but who cares, whatever. People are, are, are seeming to like longer videos now anyway. So thank you so much for watching. I'll leave a link down in the description to this game if you don't already know about it. Um, so you can play it for yourself. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!